Hello, I'm Zara Mama here. My name is Nina, and today we are going to make these tea light holders. Um, I said we were going, I was going to do something with these flowers from Timu. Um, if you've never ordered on Timu, I do have a code. My code is FAV58254. I did get these sent to me for free, so I could try them out. So, yeah, let's jump in here and get to using these. So, I'm going to start with the bigger one because I've mixed up quite a bit here. Um, the bigger one, I'm going to use some Mermaid Blue Mica powder here. I'm just going to add in a little bit. I'm not trying to tint it white. Just, just give it a little bit of a blue shimmer. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of this. Just to give it a little sparkle. Ouch. Um, I'm just using this. I forgot to put the lids back on. Yai hole <laughs> resin. It's a one to one ratio. Should still be pretty clear once it, the bubbles come out, hopefully. Yeah, it looks pretty clear. Maybe. I'm just going to stick everything up to the edge and it'll be pretty clear. Alright, so I'm going to do this a little bit different than I originally planned. Thanks to my own mess up. So, I'm going to pour a little bit in here. So I can work out any bubbles. light part. I don't think there was any, but just in case. Alright, then I want to take and put some of these blue things. In here, and I want them pressed up against the side pretty good. Which I think we need to go the other way. Flatten that a little bit. Should be a touch. Mm. Oh, chunky stick, I don't need you. Hopefully I'm staying where you can see. Let's 
kind of trying to do some layering of some of these branches in there. Maybe if I got some of them kind of in the red, then they might stick to the sides a little bit. Oh, I'm probably stick off of that part. That one looks really cool. Oh, this sticks in my Definitely some blank area in here. Let's see if I can push some stuff underneath there. So I was trying to, there was an air pocket in the tip of the heart, I had to get out. So this moss stuff just I don't know, I love the way it looks. So I want to take some of this and punch it up to create like a base down here.
Alright, so I'll be back in a second to do the next one. Alright, so I got some new resin mixed up. I'm going to mix in some mermaid purple. This time it's about four ounces, same resin. Try to go a little bit lighter on the purple. And then I put my glitter. bunches of those. Yeah. So let's see if we can stick these ones a little bit underneath that heart. Let's go ahead and dip them in here first. I may not have quite enough for this one. Might have some bubbles underneath there from sticking those berries in there, but I'm gonna keep trying to pop up because there's a I forgot there's a ledge underneath there for the tea light to go in. And they're not wanting to go into that too well. So technically they're squished, so now they're kind of in it. <laughs> Partially. That did cause some major bubbles to go on.
this is probably going to be a bit low, so let's cast some of that. I'm just gonna show some of these leaves down in here. I would like to put this flower in there, but I don't know how well it will work because of all that blue dye. I really want to use it. I'm going to mix up a tiny bit more to finish this off and then I'll just come back for demolding. 
We'll see how these turned out. All right, so I'm back and they're all cured. So let's try to pop them out. I'm gonna go with the small one first. Well, that broke loose easier than I thought it would. It's looking pretty cool so far. Definitely some bubbles there, but I can sand that down. Oh. Well, the top looks really cool. I'm trying to... so that does look really neat. My hair needs sanded just a little bit. But that looks really cool. Make sure you can see what's going on in here. It's really pretty. Right now, let's see what this one looks like. That's a little extra bit sticking to me. This one added a little much on the mica. You can see it in there. It's easy until you get to where that heart hook is. Ouch. My finger's stuck in there. You know, it actually gives it like a nice little bit of mystery, kind of. So this one is smoother than the other one. It's a little rough, but not as bad as this one. So this is what they look like together from the heart. So this one's a little bit smoother actually. This one got more trapped in it when I was trying to pour stuff down in there. But that one is really pretty. I think I like this one better. I like how this got stuck right in here. The little spiky leaf bit. And I like the moss in here. That looks really cool. Especially with how foggy it looks with that mica that has the blue shimmer to it. And that moss looks, whatever that is, it looks kind of mossy. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. It looks really neat. I like how the glitter kind of sank right here. It's a really cool, like, rim. So it looks really neat. I really like this half. So, next to each other. Kind of how they look. So uh, let me know down below what you think. Let's get out a little candle real quick. See how it fits in there. Oh, they fit perfect. Well, I guess this one has dead batteries. I had a third. But I have no idea what I did with it. Because that's what I do. I lose things. So, but. Looks cute in there. A real tail eye would look cool in there too. And it even stays pretty good. I mean, dip it so far and it stays. 
That's pretty cool. I don't know why this one's. Maybe I didn't pull the plastic out right. Or it has dead batteries. Who knows? Dollar Tree. So, I think they turned out really cute. Let me know what you think down below. If you like videos like this, make sure you hit like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for spending part of it with me. Bye.